What's up everybody, this is Aircrete Harry and today I want to go over what you need to make Aircrete. So on the table here, I have all the things you need from cement to foaming agents to foam generator, uh, powder ingredients, measuring uh, tools and different mixers as well as different bins you're going to be using. So we're going to go over these tools and different products you need to make Aircrete right now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need for making Aircrete is your foam generator. Because Aircrete is all about cement, Portland cement mixed with your foam. So here I came up with a new foam generator. It's um, quite simple to use. You have your air in, your foam solution in, and foaming wand. This goes out to the foaming wand comes with a nice hook to hook it on things and the motor inside comes with a two-year warranty so this also comes with a foot switch so you um, just place this by your foot you plug your foam generator into here and you plug this into your power my power next we'll plug in our airline so this is goes into the air in and then with that, uh, our air supply coming from the compressor plugs in. And this valve will control your airflow. Next you have your feed from your foam solution. That'll drop into your foaming solution and foam solution in. And the last thing you have is your foaming wand, which will plug into foam wand. So, um, I uh, next uh, you turn your air on, and so for the air creed that I've been making with my air compressor, uh, this is about the level that I need to get a three-pound density foam. Anything higher would make a lighter foam, and anything lower would make a, a denser foam, which would be more liquidy. So, for my compressor, it's set to 90 PSI, it's a 15 gallon compressor. Uh, anyway, next, I step on the uh, foot pedal. It's the foam we get. Okay, so that's foam generator and these foam generators are available on Amazon so now besides your foam generator just, uh, let me put this out the way for a minute Now besides your foam generator, you're going to need your foaming solutions. So these are solutions, uh, foaming agents that have been used for making air cream. I do not recommend Dawn. If you're using Dawn, chances are you're going to have cement that's collapsing. You won't have cement that stays solid like these samples here. These are all samples of air cream that I made and they had no collapsing uh, with them. So don't use Dawn, but if this is the only thing you have, use a lot of it. Uh, but besides the Dawn, uh, my recommendation for ease of purchase would be the Schwab shampoo. They're a daily clarifying shampoo from Schwab. If you close up. So this here is um, probably going to be your easiest thing to locate uh, at your local uh, Target or Walmart or whatnot. Other than this, my highest recommendation, because it's the least expensive to use per five-gallon bucket, uh, the most expensive for the initial buy, but the amount you use is so little that it ends up being cheaper than all the other options. 
and it's really going to make your best foam. It's going to be very firm, and it'll uh, it won't allow your aircrete to collapse because you have such strong foam bubbles from the Drexel. So I highly recommend using Drexel for your foaming agent. If you don't have Drexel, it's a little more expensive to use because for making one five gallon bucket, you need to use this entire bottle if you want to make a good firm uh, foam solution. So now, from here, we're going to move on to our cement. This is obviously a very important ingredient in your aircrete. So with your cements, we have uh, Portland cement, type 1 and 2, uh, you can use. Uh, next, I have a rapid set cement, and this is actually a piece of aircrete, aircrete that I made. You can hear that tingingness. Um, using the rapid set. Now, I don't recommend this because this is a lot more expensive, uh, but if you want to experiment, it does work for making aircrete. It's pretty good. Uh, but other than this one sample, I haven't done much testing with this rapid set, but it does work. It is a cement. Portland cement is going to be your go-to for making air aircrete. Next tool you're going to need is your five-gallon bucket. This is going to hold your water and foaming agents. Whatever foam solution you mix up, you'll likely be doing it in a five-gallon bucket. So that's going to be your... Uh, your best bet. Okay, the next thing you're going to need for making air crete are your measuring devices. So I have a few uh, spoons here that I stole from the kitchen. I'm going to have to replace. These are now officially for making air crete. Uh, you're going to use these to mix up your different powder ingredients. This is our polymer crystals, and um, this is uh, another type of cement, and your J lube and things like that. You'll be using these spoons for measuring out those powders because uh, there is a certain recipe you want for different types of mixes. Next you're going to need some uh, containers for measuring out different fluids. You know, I personally use this one all the time for measuring out my uh, four ounces of Drexel that I add to one five gallon bucket. So um, you need your measuring uh, devices here. Lastly, well, not lastly, but next is your mixing tools. So what tools are you going to use for mixing your cement slurry and for mixing your foam into the cement? So uh, this here is actually going up in price. So we have my uh, DeWalt drill that I got on Black Friday. So I got the whole kit, the drill, the saw, the impact, the light. It was a nice kit. Uh, and um, a small mixer. This is the type of mixer I would recommend, this spiral type mixer. Because you can um, run it in, in forward and in reverse. And uh, it's really good for those reasons. So on the less expensive side, you got your standard drill, whatever you have, even if it's cordless, it doesn't have to be powered. Uh, it doesn't have to be cordless, even if it has a cord. But this is the mixing uh, paddle you want to have at the end. Next, if you're, uh, you're going to go up, this uh, has been my go-to for mixing air creep for a while. This works really good, uh, but if you're going to spend money for this, I'd say just put in the extra money and get this. This is the best, in my opinion, for mixing air creep. Now, I've been messing around with air creep for about three years, so... I'm telling you, the way this works, because it's a variable speed also, um, it, it gets in nice in the buckets for uh, mixing your cement slurry in, and then for folding the foam into the cement, these two paddles working together just works great. Highly recommend using this. Next, what you're going to want is your containers for mixing the cement folding your foam in. So again, you have your five gallon container which you can make small batches of air creep with. But then uh, you move up to your garbage bins. This is a 32 gallon 
and this is a 60 gallon. So you want your different size bins for making different density air creep. You know, you might make a, you might put 94 pound bag of cement in here and uh, put your six gallons of water. And if you fill this to the top, you would have <coughs> added around 52 gallons of foam into your cement slurry. So that will give you a lighter, uh, more insulative air creep. Then you have your 32 gallon mix. So if you put your eight gallons of cement slurry in here and you fill this to the top, you're gonna have a denser air creep mix, um, which is what I prefer for foundations or anything like that. Much, it's gonna be a denser mix. It's not gonna be as insulative, but still you're gonna extend your cement a great deal. So that's really it. Uh, you've just seen, I just showed you all the tools you need for making air creep. And um, my recommendation on the mixer is probably one of the best things. Besides the foam generator, the foam generator came out with is probably in the middle range of the price uh, that's out there. You know, you have your DIY projects where you can build your own foam uh, generator, and then you have a, a higher end model that's been out for a while. Uh, it comes with a lot of features, uh, a lot more gadgets. So by removing all those gadgets, I've made a less expensive, but still very good. Aircrete uh, foam generator. Anyway, that's it for now, everybody. My next videos will be showing you how to make Aircrete, and um, I'll be mixing with the cement and everything, and I'll show you what to avoid to so you don't get Aircrete that collapses. Anyway, that's it for now. I love you all. Peace out.